Have you ever been in a situation like this? Or maybe this? Well, in these situations, there isn't really much you can do to overcome these problems. One solution could be to get a new drive and start installing software and configuring settings all over again, but it takes time. Or in other cases, this solution might not be possible. Here is where disk cloning comes into play. Disk cloning is a technique which you can use to clone a drive to another one without losing any data or settings. The goal is to create a new drive that will be identical to another one. Today, we are going to perform a disk cloning demonstration using the Ease Us to Do Backup software. This video is not sponsored in any way and we are going to use the free version of the software. After all, the video title is about disk cloning for free, right? Let's get started then. Head to easeus.com to download the software. I repeat, we will use the free edition for this one. Cloning a system drive is a good idea for a lot of reasons. Maybe you need to swap your drive with a larger one and you don't want to set up all programs and settings from scratch. Or, you might want to switch from a hard drive to an SSD. Before proceeding, please leave a like and hit the subscribe button. It helps us create more and better content. Find the file you downloaded and start the installation. Okay, now that the software is installed, we can start cloning our system drive. Hit the Create Backup button and then, select the disk icon. Click on the top checkbox to select all partitions of disk 0. Disk 0 should be your system drive containing the C partition. Otherwise, find the relevant drive in your system. Now, we need to select the destination for this backup. I will use a network drive for this one. So, click on the destination and select Network. Locate or type the network path and click OK. Now that everything is ready, we can start the cloning process. Click on the Backup Now button to start. Depending on the amount of data currently on the drive, this process might take a long time to complete. OK. Backup completed. That was the first step. Now, let's continue with the second step. Shut down your device and attach the new drive without removing the old one. Let's check if the system has the new drive installed by checking the device manager. So, right-click on this PC and select Show More Options. Then, click Manage. Click on Disk Management. The window should look like this if you have properly installed the new drive. Our new disk is Disk 1 which we need to initialize in order to use it. So, click OK, and the drive will be initialized. Now, go back to the EASA software and click the Recover button at the top right corner. Hit the checkbox of the drive containing the C partition again and click Next. Locate the new drive from the list and click its checkbox. In this system, the new drive is Drive 1. If you are restoring to an SSD, click the Advanced Options and make sure you check the Optimize for SSD option. Now, click Next to start restoring. You will get a warning that the new disk will be wiped. Make sure you don't have anything stored on the target drive. My drive is completely empty so I can ignore this warning and just hit continue. This is the final information about the source and the destination disk layouts. Click proceed to start the process. Do not power down your system while this process is running. Again, depending on the amount of data that is being restored, this process might take a long time. Okay, that is all with step 2. Now, let's check what drives are visible to the system. Open this PC. Nice. Disk C is our current system disk and disk A is our new disk. Shut down the system once more and remove the old system drive. The system should boot directly from the new drive. Double click on this PC. And there you have it. The system is running on a larger SSD drive. This process can be used to swap from a hard drive to an SSD or replacing a smaller drive with a larger one. The best part is that it can be done for free. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe for more and better content. Have a nice day.